the passive Yetzer Hara, which is called Nukve, that's even though it's is passive, but it's a preparation of doing bad. You, she's lying in bed and saying, I'm, I'm a failure and I'm not worth anything. But this is a Yetzer of so because of that, there's the next step after Yush is, so go do be mafia yourself and go do whatever you want. Snooze, drugs, all kinds of terrible things, because you're not worth anything anyway. That, that, that passive Yetzer is a hachona for doing. Bitot Torah is also, we said, it's called doing some doing, a mice of being mevatot Torah. The passive Yetzer is always a hachona. And that's dukmas, the nekeva, which is uh, being passive, but it's supplying the zohar with hanor. It's, it's, so it is. It's it's being passive as a as a preparation, or 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 like uh, the other side of the coin of being passive is doing uh, something, and that is is giving the zohar is not getting and no and giving and no. It's 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 all a chibra of a zohar and an anke which creates a certain tuma. But says these bits this is that the the koach of the nukve of the sitra which was broken which is broken that's what it is it's it's a situation where the tumor gets so big yeah that's true that that Kasha. The cash is asking good. The fact that the nega is so gigantic is a reason to be metamed more. Right. But what's going to be the next step after that? It's, it came to a, a, a dead end. It has nowhere to go anymore. This is not, this is a a, a nukva, a being passive, that is not a preparation for doing bad anymore. It has no place to go from here. The, the koach of the nukva of the sitra achra was broken. The only place you can go from here is screaming out to Hashem. Kinesosani v'atashlicheni. In the Tfilaloni it says this, Look where I am, look where I was thrown to. Get me out of this. Tovati bivain metzula vein momot. Bossi bimamaki maim vishibolis shtofosni. And then it brings out a choko. Yogati bikori nichar grani kolvein ay miachole lukoi. And then the issue is gonna come. That's the tire of Parach Bekulo. That's, I think that's what the Izbitzer means. Of course, you have to know, and the Izbitzer talks this out, that there's a din if he was a Parach Bekulo mitocha tire. Suppose the Naga was tar. Uh, let's say that for, there was no say or love on, and two weeks nothing happened to he was masking him two weeks, and nothing happened, so the din is the kind is made tire him. And then it was, then it was Parach Bekulo. That's a pision, like every pision that the nega grew. Then, then it will be Tome. It's only by a Parach Bekulo that he was Tome, and then it spread. Then we say that he's tar, but if he was tar to begin with, so it's betamim. Says days bitter that the pshat is, because if he was tome, so he was in the matzav of duchra, the sitrachra, the zohar of the sitrachra, that means he, he, he was there, the tomb put the stamp of a neg on him, after that, when he spreads and he, the nuk, he reaches the matzav of nukva, of, of, of not having where to go to. It's broken, the car of the tumor breaks. But if he never was tome, there was no 
Zohar over here of the Sitra Achra. And then you say, even though it's spread and spread and spread, and has nowhere to go from me, maybe some change will happen and say a love will not grow into or a michi will happen to something could happen, or some change could happen. Over here it's a nukve of the sitra which is a preparation for the dukra to be tome. You can be married and talk about it more and more. But 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 since the people that listen to me are smart people so they understand hints and I don't have to go into explaining it more. And this brings us to the second subject I wanted to talk about, which I, I had a, very, a bad feeling from reading this article. This is a woman, that her name is Eben Baum, a Haredi woman from Ger Hasidim. And she wrote a book about the Haredi world that uh, um, um, and what she calls here the world of the new Haredim, which is... Uh, it says here that the author masterfully, masterfully, ex- masterfully expresses the deliberations of growing number of young Haredim activists, entrepreneurs, educators, artists, thinkers, businessmen, yeshiva students, working women, and more. They're reflecting on a crucial transitional period in their community. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say like this. There's no such thing as Haredim. There's Shomri Torah mitzvahs that go on the Derech HaTorah. Derech HaTorah is that Ha'olam Hazet Domer Leprozdor Befnei Ha'olam Abo. That's called Derech HaTorah, living in Olam Hazet. Of course, there are many levels in it, and each person will see how much he sees Olam Hazet as a Prozdor. And there might be some, and a lot of us don't think about Olam Haba too much. But still, being belittling Olam Haza, knowing that Olam Haza is not the Ike, Limudat Torah, Hashem is the Ike, that's a Yid. There's a Yid, and this is a Yid. There is no other Tzura of a Yid, of a Torah, the Yid, of a Yid, the way Hashem wants it. It doesn't matter what kind of yarmulke he wears. And it could even be that he davens in the, in, in the modern uh, accent that the, that, the Zion, that the religious Zionists brought in, it, 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 which, which has a certain tumor to it because it's a way of breaking off from the past. But still, if this person realizes that Olamaza is a toffle to Avodah Hashem, and he lives that way. So he said, he's nich so many times, but he lives that way. That's what Hashem wants. And when you say the word Haredim, it's a name of a party. Parties, that's the duch, the duchra of the sitra, the whole metzias of a party. It's something that was created in the Gaishka world, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know how many years ago. And in the last hundred, two hundred years, maybe, and 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 it, it is a group that gets together in order to do something to uh, advance our ideals, and uh, which which is usually to make it means to make life better, make life better, get together, make life better. Now, what's the difference between a party? And a gemach, let's say, a, a group, a group or an institution of, of helping people. The difference is that this is with politics and this is without politics. A group of people get together. We're going to help. Uh, we're 
making a society of that's osik in hachnosas kala marrying off poor girls, helping them get married. That is a group of Knesia that's l'shem shomayim. The whole purpose is to do rotzen Hashem of chesed. That's called a gemach or a, I don't know what you could you could call it other names. A, 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 a chevras. Let's say we'll call it a chevras achnos haskalim. A chevra kadisha levoyas hameis. A group of people that are out again bear bearing mace. That's one kind of a group that gets together. Another kind of group is a political party. Politics means, uh, uh, nowadays it means, I mean, I'm not talking about the original meaning of the word, but nowadays when you say politics, it means a group that's looking for his own interests. I mean, and there's talk all the time about why this one did this because he wants to get advance himself in this and this way, and if he'll do that, so then it'll look like he belongs to that group, to to the right, let's say. So he does a different. It shouldn't look like he belongs to the right. He belongs more to the left. Does he believe in the ideals of left, left uh, being leftist? Does he believe in this? It doesn't have to be, but. If He'll look more leftist, so then he'll he'll be able to advance more. He'll get more voters. That's politics. Hedge bonus of doing good for me and my people and my group. Usually, it's me, only me. Now, when you say Haredi, when you talk about where the Haredi society is heading towards, that means this group. What are they doing in order? to make life, to make Olamaza better for themselves. I mean, in the, in, the, in the me, in the thinking of myself, how can I get, get it better for myself? So, so in such a thing you talk, what, hey, where, what direction is the Haredi society going on? And when you say that they would that they're starting to go to work and they're starting to study uh, secular studies in order to advance themselves. So it means that this group is finding ways to make it better for themselves. In Olam has strengthening our core of having a better Olam has Now, that means the Dukhra of the Sitra Akhra, the Zohra. And that's like saying, the Karachat Torah is getting weaker and weaker, and the direction is towards going down, and then and, and strengthening Olamazin. What would have been if this woman could have used a different language? She could have said, um, and I'm not talking about the direction of the Haredim, only there's a certain direction where the Lamdi Torah are feeling weaker in their Kach of being Moshe Nevesh Torah. The Kach of Moshe's Nevesh Torah is getting weaker and weaker. Where, where's the diet, or, or let's call it like this, let's put... Put the question: Where's the direction of Messias Nefesh for Torah heading? That 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 that's valid to talk about that, and it's also valid to talk about the generation is weaker, getting weaker. Not our fault that we're weaker, and the Koch of Messias Nefesh for for staying alone made Torah the whole day is weaker, and it's because there are a lot more people working. Instead, when you talk about the Haredi society, you're not talking about where's the Messiah Snevish for Avodah Hashem heading. You're talking about where the party is heading. When you talk like that, so that means to say... Uh, Rabbi Kaplan, we're taking a break. Thank you.